Tell me what made you want to get involved in this film? Why did you want to take on this project? See the actors on either side of me here. Pan around. Look at them. There we go. Beautiful and talented they are. That's about that's all the reason I ever needed to get this kind of cast. Yeah. And was this your first feature film? Second feature film. Second, but first where the main characters weren't dogs. That's right. First where the main characters were not animated or on four legs. Yeah, it's a, it's a joy to step up and uh, direct people like Michael Caine you know, and Dwayne Johnson and these guys. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> and what were some of the things that surprised you working with this cast? Did they do anything that you weren't expecting? Well, you know, it was uh, not surprising, but it was really rewarding how collaborative everyone was. You know, I was hoping for that, but then I got that ten times, ten, tenfold what I was expecting. And, and uh, you know, you, you collaborate with these guys to try to give them the best opportunity to succeed. But then they work with you to try to give you guys the best you know, uh, experience possible. So that's what was really rewarding for me, knowing that everyone was on the same team and we were all trying to make the same movie. Nice. And what was the best part for you about shooting in Hawaii? Shooting in Hawaii? Uh, all of it. The best part was all of it. Um, there was no bad part of shooting in Hawaii. I mean, weather's a little bit difficult in Hawaii. It's a little er erratic when you're shooting in the winter, but, uh, you know, it's paradise. I, I can't complain. I grew up in, like, a small cold island in Canada. Like, going to Hawaii to work is not work, you know? It's just, it's, it's good. It's, it's fun time, so, yeah, it was great. And had you read any Jules Verne before working on it? Oh, yeah, I grew up reading. I was a big, you know, sci-fi fantasy nerd as a kid. I read everything. But I was here somewhere that, you know, basically got me into reading when I was, like, seven or eight years old. So I, I was pretty, pretty aware of it all. Nice. And having read that, what did you bring from that to this film? since it's so based and influenced. Well, I knew that what Vern's ideology was, the idea that fantasy came from within our world and not from another world. And so the idea was to anchor the reality of the island and the creatures to somehow to science and the reality. And obviously we embellish it for fun, but it's not like, you know, you see uh, Alice in Wonderland, there's, you know, red mushrooms and polka dots. It's not, you know, we were like, okay, all the mushrooms are real and all the trees are real trees, you know. We're just grounding it. And, and then Vern was, Vern was big into science, and we also just kind of used this mythology and said, okay, we're going to expand on it, we're going to pay respect to it, pay respect to the book, pay respect to the 1960s movie, pay respect to the journey to the center of the earth, and then grow it from there. Very cool. Well, have a good time tonight. Thanks so much.